getting run over. Oh, if you make it through our course, you are ready for the big screen. Make dull and vain famous people look cool by dressing up as them and risking your life and future health. Then, have your face digitally removed on a green screen. The Cunning Stunt Academy trains women too. Ooh. Have a nice rack? Pinewood needs stunt tits to show when an A-list celebrity is too bashful or has pancake nipples. The Cunning Stunt Academy. Fame, it's worth any price. What happens when man's best friend becomes dinner? Dude Eat Dog, the reality cooking show that will have you looking at Fido in whole new delicious ways. It's Bow Wow Chow, Dude Eat Dog on CNT. Welcome to Los Santos, the city of celluloid, sin, and cellulite removal. From dead starlets and vine wood, to the gangbangers and Davis of strawberry, and terracels and chumash, to the drunken tourists and Del Perro Pier. It's time to take a look inside this cesspit of destroyed dreams, drug addled degenerates, and deluded desperados that make up this great city of lights. Hi. I'm decorated FIB agent Stephen Haynes. The FIB, the police department, and the sheriff's office are fighting a war out here every day in a city where dreams too often become wet with tears. The Los Santos docks. This is where it all begins. The second largest port in the world. The great orifice of American capitalism. Stuff coming in, garbage going out and hidden in over two million containers a day, God only knows what. The cartels pay off some low-level schlub and suddenly you've got military-grade weapons, badly cut crystal meth, and grade-A yayo from Mexico flooding our streets. And once it hits the hood, it's anarchy. With a side of murder, hold the fries. Or maybe the Chinese are slipping some of our high-security weapon systems in with the recycling. And we're giving up our national security for nothing? Who knows? Who cares? As long as the financial party continues, we'll just keep picking up the pieces. A word to the wise, kids. Never use PCP. It makes you want to punch cops and run around naked, and not necessarily always in that order. Most of the time, this illicit cargo makes it straight to the gangs. But sometimes an ordinary Joe lets go and loses his shit after a pipe or two of pleasure dust. Vagos, bloodthirsty Jacanos with a predilection for pain, papaya juice, and spicy plantains. They're one of the largest Mexican street gangs in the city, with rumored connections to several major mafias. While half the battle out here is fought with guns, the other half is with informants. Sometimes you need to become the bad guys to bust the bad guys. All right, guys, let's go. When the ballas and the families aren't shooting each other, they're selling the dope that the junkies are shooting into their veins. The families love sports almost as much as they love banging. Flashy, arrogant, competitive, and aggressive, they are lifelong bitter enemies of the ballas. Wearing the colors of the feud or the corkers, the families call themselves gang green. Of course, like all families, they love a good squabble. Subdivided into sets, such as the Chamberlain Gangsters or the Carson Avenue set, it turns out the families love shooting each other almost as much as they love shooting ballas. Now, the LSPD have had many run-ins with various family sets over the years. With the ballas, the FIB take a more community outreach approach. Hey, hey guys, stay out of trouble now. Suck my Now the ballas fly the colors of the Los Santos Panic, or the board, purple, because they are the bruise on the face of this city. While some thugs obviously prefer four wheels, other desperados prefer two. Leather, exhaust, and drugs. 
No, this isn't an exotic S&M party. These are one of the nation's toughest outlaw motorcycle gangs, the Lost. Rumors are they get a new tattoo for every person they stab. And it's definitely okay for your motorcycle mama to show her breast to your friends. The FIB has been tracking the Lost for years. And have spent more time in the Midwest...